Almost every town has a water tower, and in many places it shows off city pride. But many of those towers are empty. News on 6's Bobby Miller shows us how those towns are giving their old water towers new life. The water tower has long been a symbol of a city. High above nearly every town, the tanks have always been much more than water storage. <laughs> Just like any town, the water towers is one of the first things you're going to see. They certainly do an important job. Reliable systems that give residents, businesses, and firefighters adequate high-pressure H2O. Mike Cockrell, the City of Ripley's Utility Department. It's my job to make sure everything stays up and running. And if it isn't, then I don't look good. <laughs> two water wells pump the town's water. There are also two towers, but one of them is empty, out of commission, after someone shot holes through it. Fixing it, put it back in use would be nice. $700,000. For a little town, it's kind of hard to keep up with it. Head south to a little bit bigger town, Blanchard, and you'll find a similar story. That's next on our list to completely refurbish that. The main problem right now is Blanchard has grown so much that we need more water. Mayor Michael Scalf says the price tag to give their nearly 100-year-old original tower a new life is one and a half million or more. Erected in 1926, it's on a local preservation list and one of four in town. Three are reserve tanks for city water, but even with 30 wells to pull from, it wasn't enough. Looking at it, you can tell that it's uh, it's a little bit uh, weather-worn right now because it hasn't been used since not about 97 when they uh, went live with the water line from Oklahoma City. Many towns aren't using their water towers anymore because they tapped into water supplied by Oklahoma City, one of those sources being Lake Hefner. In 2015, record-breaking flooding in Oklahoma washed out water pipes. Blanchard and other towns struggled with long-term low pressure, among other things. They know weather disturbances will happen again. That's why they want to rely on their own storage, like neighbor Norman. Oh, you has started rehab and they got three towers on their property. Norman sustains six robust systems, supplying six million gallons of drinkable water to 130,000 residents. Older towers in town have resigned from such jobs, like this one near campus. Now it stores brown water used to maintain a football field as in Owen Field, home of the OU Sooners. Championship softball soil? Yep, it keeps the grass green there too. Cider estimates about 25% of towers are now empty in Oklahoma. Their niche of structural engineers have worked with countless cities to give them new life. Salina, Texas, not only had theirs repainted, but added color-changing lights to the catwalk. Home of Pistol Pete in Perkins underwent a facelift to stay in use, but Okima's hot and cold icons were dismantled due to lack of funding to restore the aging structures, and several now serve as cell phone towers. You can see the antennas on it now. These things end up du dual function, but you know, if it all comes down to it, we can live without our cell phones. But we can't live without this water. So whether you're rearing a championship a softball miss. team the Oklahoma Sooners are national or a tiny spot on the map, below these giants are the hearts of neighborhoods who love them. They provide the character of the old town feel, you know, and, and something that people can relate to. Bobby Miller, Oklahoma's own News on 6.